All right, dear friends, so the heart is the master. Excuse us here one moment. Brief interruption. And the mind is the servant of creating what it is you want. Yeah, part three here, yeah? Or the second part of our interaction here with you. Dear friends, as the Pleiadians, yeah, as an aspect of your own... Uh, of your own spirit and your own spiritual growth here as you choose to work with us, uh, dear friends, and uh, allow us to work with you, yeah? Dear friends, in accordance to your own free will, always. Yeah, so to continue on here, what we want to uh, then discuss in uh, in this segment of time with you, dear friends, are, are two, uh, two techniques here. Uh, dear friends, the first idea we're going to call four steps towards ultimate freedom. Yeah, uh, dear friends, and we would lay it out for you uh, in this way here. Uh, you might take another deep breath. Scratch the channel's nose, dear friends. Yeah, excuse us. You start with step one here. Start with what it is that you are most passionate about. Yeah, dear friends, we could do uh, uh, quite a lot of um, interacting here with you about permission to be passionate. Um, in your childhood, in your uh, 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 becoming acclimated uh, and um, uh, adapting or conforming to the, the, the responsibilities and the duties, dear friends, of living in your society, uh, passion uh, tends to get, in general, swept aside. Yeah, It tends to get put on the back burner. We want you to bring it forward, dear friends. We want you to put it front and center. Yeah, What is it uh, that you are most passionate about in your life, dear friends? Whatever it is, it might be uh, uh, channeling dear friends, it might be uh, uh, doing music, it might be uh, uh, being with your beloved dear friends, it might be uh, helping the world to uh, awaken, it might be working with uh, the earth spirits and the environment dear friends, uh, whatever it is, uh, decide what it is that you are most passionate about, step one. Uh, and within that step then, uh, give yourself permission to take responsibility uh, about this. In other words, Dear friends, why uh, humans tend to resist their passions is because they don't feel that they are going to have the uh, opportunity to express them and ultimately fulfill them. So we want at the very outset of this uh, processing technique here to, to reorient uh, you to the understanding that indeed as you become aware of what you are passionate about, you are taking responsibility to fulfill it. Yeah. In, in, in that way, yeah? That is that is the first part here. Step two then is whatever it is that you are passionate about that you have begun to make more conscious choices and be responsible for. Again, conscious choice being the theme of our uh, uh, discussion here with you today. Uh, we ask you to look for uh, the value uh, of this in your life. In other words, uh, why is this valuable? Why am I passionate about this? What about this uh, excites me, inspires me, empowers me, uplifts me, uh, etc., etc. And dear friends, uh, the, the second uh, aspect of uh, step two here in terms of value is that it will create greater meaning in your life. Uh, we, we, we said there uh, before the break we began yeah, that uh, the heart is the master and the mind is the servant of creating a, uh, a meaningful and a joyous reality. That's a very nice, uh, concise way for you to remember it if you, if you choose to, dear friends, and uh, it happens to be true, yeah? Uh, and so uh, as you go from step one, what am I passionate about? Uh, step two, uh, what is the value of this? Then you come to step three. What do I choose to believe? What do I consciously choose to believe uh, about uh, this aspect of myself and how I express this in my life. And dear friends, of course, this is truly uh, uh, the point uh, of this technique. Uh, as we say here, uh, you, uh, to, to, be, to recognize that you always are making a decision and that as you make a more conscious decision, so indeed you have greater ability there to have uh, more meaning and more value, dear friends, in your life. And thus you have a greater um, ability to respond to what you care about and thus fulfill uh, and express, dear friends, your passions. Your passions uh, are, are the things that you care deeply about. They are they connect you to the core of yourself, to the depth of yourself. We said here uh, a few moments ago about the truth connecting you to love and peace and uh, uh, it, uh, as a transcendent state. And dear friends, so it is that uh, your passion, uh, the fire uh, within you, uh, uh, helps you uh, to clear away, dear friends, uh, the clutter, the confusion, the self-doubt, the self-judgment, yeah? So passion is quite powerful and it is quite valuable, dear friends, absolutely so. And it's going to be increasingly uh, valuable uh, in, uh, in uh, your near future here, dear friends, uh, uh, to, to act with passion, dear friends, 
friends uh, uh, without uh, needing to prove anything, to res resist anything, to judge anything, uh, uh, etc., but simply uh, out of uh, a, a sense of personal integrity, yeah? We could put it to you that way, dear friends. So step one, what am I passionate about? Step two, what is the value of this in my life? Step three, what do I consciously choose to believe about this? And part B of step three there is uh, that your beliefs, dear friends, um, to help you further here are held in place by that which you uh, have faith in, that which you have hopes about, and dear friends, that which you trust, yeah? And we would say that trust would be the most dynamic and uh, uh, important energy, dear friends, in terms of uh, deciding what you believe, yeah? Dear friends, a lot of the healing that's happening in your world right now and over the next uh, several years here has to do with, uh, as we say, about truth, dear friends, ethics and integrity that uh, in taking your power back, you're going to um, uh, encounter or confront, yeah, as our friend has said here, uh, uh, what it is that you believe and how deeply you believe it, dear friends, and if it's true. And uh, the point here is, once again, if it's true, it will connect you to a greater sense of freedom to be yourself, to express yourself, and to live from that uh, self that you truly are uh, in this lifetime, dear friends, yeah? If it's, if it's not, if what if who you believe in and what you believe in, dear friends, yeah, uh, is not in alignment with that truth within self, then there will be um, disappointment, dear friends, of course. There will be um, uh, frustration and struggle and uh, pain and fear, dear friends. All of those energetic reminders that are simply there not to punish, uh, 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 dear friends, but to get your attention and to ask you once again to consciously choose one more time what you believe. Dear friends, the, the, the final step here is how does your passion, stepping through uh, greater value and meaning, stepping through uh, greater um, conscious believing, uh, supported by faith, hope, and trust, move you into a state of greater freedom and greater choosing again, dear friends. So in other words, at each step in this process, you have greater freedom because you're making a more conscious choice. Now, dear friends, uh, and this leads you uh, ultimately to ultimate freedom, yeah, which is the freedom to know yourself and, dear friends, the freedom to be yourself. And you might take a little deep breath on that if you would, please, yeah? To reconnect with your true self, dear friends, once again, to come back to peace and love. So let us then segue there. You can listen to this again, dear friends, but we'll segue there to a very uh, simple technique here called the field of fulfillment. And dear friends, if your eyes are not closed, go ahead and close them. Take another deep breath and focus upon your heart center, of course. That's where we always like to uh, bring you back to, dear friends. And imagine uh, a golden ball of light like the sun in the center of your chest. And dear friends, uh, begin to connect with that energy of your heart. In other words, to help you to open your heart. Dear friends, work with the energy or focus upon the energies, please, yeah, of love, of joy and of appreciation. Dear friends, of love for self, of love for life, recognizing that they are two aspects of the same experience here, that you would not be in this life and this life would not invite you into it if you were not uh, deeply and powerfully connected, dear friends. Yeah, and that uh, uh, joy, of course, is the fulfillment uh, of your desires, dear friends, moving you always towards greater freedom love, joy, and uh, dear friends, appreciation, gratitude, uh, those energies uh, give you once again the opportunity to open your heart and to truly feel alive. And dear friends, once again, to feel good about being alive. So take a breath into that, please. That life supports you, that life works, dear friends, that you truly do live in a safe and friendly universe that you are inviting into your world and your experience of this world. Dear friends, that Mother Earth loves you and supports you as you reach for your dreams. She assists you and she guides you, dear friends, that your heart is connected to her heart as one. Yes. And so, dear friends, then allow this energy now uh, of uh, that joy, love, appreciation, gratitude. Yeah. You could put happiness in there, dear friends. All good things. Take another nice deep breath. And let that golden bubble of light expand on the exhalation and let it move beyond the field of your body. So it will be in your mind's eye just beyond your reach, yeah? And dear friends, uh, now you are surrounded by a golden bubble of light, yeah? What, has, what was within you, which is where everything begins, is now around you, dear friends, just as it truly happens in your world. And dear friends, into this field now, we ask you to invite the energy of one or two or three things, experiences or 
uh, manifestations, 